Hello and welcome to the Hockey News. I'm Stephen Ellis and joining me today is senior writer Ken Campbell. Ken, I don't think anyone expected Matt Niskanen to retire at the age of 33. This is a guy that, yeah, you know, he's he can be physical at points, but this is still kind of odd. So what's the situation? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it really took a lot of people by surprise. I mean, he was on pace for a 40-point year this year, which would have been his second best offensive year of his career. Um, you know, he was a big factor in the resurgence of Philadelphia Flyers, really helped Ivan Provorov along and, and was really good on their penalty kills. So um, it really took everybody by surprise, including the Flyers and, and, and Niskanen's agent, uh, Neil Sheehy, whom I spoke to this afternoon. And he basically said, you know, that part of it, a big part of it was this uncertainty surrounding COVID. Um, you know, he spent eight weeks in the bubble uh, this summer. He didn't. I mean, even though the NHL has said they're not going to go back to the bubble, uh, he didn't really want to, you know, be any part of sorts, you know, being away from his family again like that. And I think just the, the uncertainty surrounding everything, um, just he figured he'd pack it in. He's leaving almost $6 million on the table, but he's made $43 million over the course of his career. So, I mean, he's, he's obviously quite set there and he's just going to move back to Northern Minnesota and hunt and fish and, do all those things that he loves doing. And uh, he just, I think he just, I think the impression I get is that it's not that he didn't want to play anymore. Uh, it's that he didn't want to have to prepare all this off season to get back in November to an NHL that where no one knows what it's going to look like. And I, I think that was the case. So, so I think COVID really has, played a part in this and uh, it's interesting to see because it's the first and I don't know how many more there will be but uh, but he was definitely it was definitely a part of his decision and, and you know for a guy like him it's like he won his Stanley Cup so he has had that opportunity it's not like he's leaving behind that glory but you, you got to wonder is this something we're going to see from more players this offseason well I mean he was definitely the first I mean we saw Tuka Rask who you know, I mean, the Boston Bruins went into, they, did, they didn't live up to expectation with or without Tuukka Rask, but they went into the bubble with, you know, really high expectations that they might be able to win a Stanley Cup. And Tuukka Rask, you know, basically said, I'm not interested in, in, in sticking around in the bubble. So, um, you know, I mean, it has had its effect. I, I would think that a lot of guys who maybe like Matt Niskanen, who have maybe won their cup, had a good career, made a lot of money, you know, they, it may cause them to have a second you know, to consider things a little more, whether or not they really want to come back, like again, to an NHL that really no one knows what it's going to look like. I mean, the NHL has said they're not going to do the bubble again for a season, but what's the NHL going to look like? I don't think anybody really knows. Um, you know, players have been told that training camp will start on or around or about November 15th. Um, that seems really ambitious in my mind. Um, but, but like the, the fact of the matter is it's the great unknown and, and nobody knows what things are going to look like. And I guess if you're a veteran who's made your money, won your cup and had your career, maybe that's enough. One former NHLer told me it's always much better to know when you're going to want to retire than being forced into it or have some other reason for it. And I don't think Niskanen entered yeah. the season knowing he was going to retire, but it is no, what I it mean, is. So few, so few people leave on their own terms, right? So few athletes, even the best ones, often don't get to leave on their own terms. And Matt Niskanen is getting to leave on his own terms. He's earned the right to, to make this decision, and, and he's made it. All right. Thank you very much for joining me, Ken. Make sure to check out the hockeynews.com for our daily hockey coverage.